So what does it mean to deny yourself? First thing that it means is to deny your own emotion. emotion. Every single time you put off an emotion, you, every single time you put off an emotional experience to later, you have just denied your own self. And in fact, you have just treated yourself unlovingly. So, you know, you'll be uh, driving, driving in the car, some song comes on the radio, triggers an emotion, you start crying, someone looks at you from the stoplights across, sees you crying, you feel embarrassed, you stop. Right at that moment, you've just denied your soul. What would we have done if we didn't deny our soul? Just kept crying. Maybe pull over first. Or well, we can pull over here. <laughs> <laughs> That might be helpful. <laughs> All right. What's the what's another thing that we deny with we when we're denying our soul? Our true passions. Our passions. Yeah. yeah. So. So, like, how many of you enjoy art? Really enjoy it. Okay. How many of you do it yourself? Why is that? Why is there a big difference between the two answers? Because some people are not living in their passion. Right? How many of you enjoy music? How many of you play it yourself? Right? Less than half. Why is that? Same thing. You're denying your passions. Can you see that? Now, you can come up with all the excuses you want under the sun. Like, oh, I haven't got the time, or, you know, is the biggest probably excuse, or my life's too busy, you know, I can't afford it. Whatever else you're coming up with, but in the end, you're just denying yourself. You're denying yourself. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. What else? Desires. Our desires. So every time you don't allow yourself to acknowledge a desire that you have within you, whether it's error based desire or truth based, whether it's a, a loving desire or harmful, you are shutting down your soul. So let's say today you had a desire to kill somebody. Right? If you shut down that and don't allow yourself to experience that desire, I don't mean go and kill them, I mean to actually experience that desire that you had, you are shutting down your soul. You are locking yourself up. Right? Let's say today you had a desire to help somebody and didn't. The same thing applies. You just shut down your soul. That, that desire happens to be more in harmony with love, but you still shut down your soul either way. So to actually live out of denial of the soul with our desires, we need to at least acknowledge them and feel them. We don't have to act upon them. We only need to... With the ones that are, the ones that are harmful to us, obviously if we act upon them, we're going to be harmed even further, right? But we still need to recognise that they're there. And the ones that are not there, the ones that are not harmful, why aren't you acting upon them? What would cause you to not act? The rejection. Yeah, something that's harmful, yep. doesn't that put you in a, a pain space? Well, the truth is the pain is already within you. And what, this, what do you do next? the point of it is to experience it. Yeah. So, so how many of you want to experience the times when, you, when you've actually felt like harming another person? Most of us don't want to do that, do we? But you're going to need to, to become at one with God. You're going to need to experience that emotionally. But don't we already experience it when we have the desire? Like, I'd love to slap a whole lot of people. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk more about what's going... No. What, when you have the desire, the desires usually always have an underlying cause. Now, if the desire is, an, is a desire to harm somebody, like slap them, then it will usually come from an underlying causal yeah, emotion. I want them to listen. So, so you haven't experienced that <coughs> emotion. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So you haven't experienced the frustration, the anger that you feel, and then underneath the sadness you feel about not being heard. Yeah. When you connect to that emotion and release that, ironically, at that point, the law of attraction will change, and all of a sudden, there'll be people who listen to you, and even the ones who don't, you won't worry about anymore, and you won't feel like slapping them anymore. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. perfect 
So, so we still need to experience the desire, but understand we're getting, everything is based, remember I began this discussion with everything being based on causes. You know, so in the case you just mentioned, you want to slap somebody because they're not hearing you, the cause is you feel unheard within yourself and you don't want to feel that emotion. So you want people to hear you rather than feel unheard. Yeah, so the cause of it is what needs to be accessed in every case. Follow me with that? Yep. Far away. Um, AJ, the, the, I've had a, a, quite a, a full week of a lot of events that were quite overwhelming. Yep. And it came to a point where um, I was uh, quite exhausted from it. Yep. Um, and I didn't want to keep going there, so I chose to watch the TV and tune out. So you chose to shut down your emotions? I chose to shut down. I knew I was doing it, yep. um, but I just felt like I just need a break. So I was following a desire, which is to watch TV. <laughs> 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 but also because I, um, I just felt I just was too tired. And yeah, the feeling was that the feeling you're avoiding is being overwhelmed. So when you, show, when you feel like you've had a whole week of processing emotion and then, damn me, the next day, another emotion. How do you feel? Had enough. You feel like shutting down, right? Well, that in itself is shutting down your soul and it's caused by an emotion within you. That is another emotion that needs to be processed. The only way to access that again is create another week where you're overwhelmed and get into it that time. But you see, every time you shut down an emotional experience, you're just in, an, in, in creating a whole new set of events that needs to expose that emotion. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. Yeah. So let's say, let's say the whole set of events has happened to make me get into a state of feeling overwhelmed. Obviously that feeling is in my soul, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't I just go with it? Why don't I just fall into the, you know, f fall on the ground and just be overwhelmed and just go into that emotion? I had was that um, um, being blocked from feeling the emotion, it was exhausting me not being able to get to them even though I knew they were there, but I couldn't get to them. So it was like, oh, it was a frustration of it, you know? So what emotion do you need to feel? <coughs> Exhausted and frustrated. Frustration. Frustration. Yeah. Frustration is really anger. So, you know, you're getting in a state where you can't connect to your emotion, you're feeling more and more frustrated, get out the boxing gloves, go and buy a boxing bag, get out, buy some boxing gloves and really get into it. Like, bash and swear and scream about how frustrated you are. Let yourself connect to that rage. Because that's a childhood rage and you need to get into that. Get into the frustration. The frustration caps a deeper emotion but you're not going to feel the deeper emotion without the frustration coming first. So it's like a lot of your emotions are like a tear, if you like, where you know, they, they were constructed one upon the other, upon the other, upon the other. To actually deconstruct them means to actually step down below, step down below, step down below. But you need to go through each state doing it. So when you feel frustrated, you need to express your frustration. Right? The key is to not do it with everyone around you and make everybody around you frustrated with you. But the key is to go into the emotion yourself in a safe way, but really get into the emotion itself. Okay, then what's underneath the anger then? Oh, what? You don't need to know at this point. Just feel the anger. But I went through the frustration, went through the anger. No, you, did you go through the rage? Really connect with the anger? No, I didn't get that far. Okay, I'm saying when you do, you will find out what's underneath. And you don't need to know what's underneath. Now, I can tell you what's underneath, but what good does that do? It doesn't help. All you need to do is experience that emotion right now. If you fully experience it, you will automatically connect with what's underneath. That follows for everyone? Mm -hmm. Automatically what's underneath will be exposed when you, when you expose the capping emotion, the one that's sho shoving everything down. Children. Yep. Yep. So, is, do I 
did you experience that feeling blocked to me? Or how do I deal with if you're if you're blocked, there's a lot of things that you can do to access your emotion. But understand, at some point, whether they're fragmented children or, or just you as an adult or you a consciousness of your emotion, either way, at some point you're going to have to allow its experience. Of being blocked. Uh, just not only of being blocked, but experience the frustration of being blocked. Yeah. Then go into the anger of being blocked. Then allow yourself to really connect with that anger, and then all of a sudden you'll find yourself unblocked, okay, yeah. and what's underneath will start flowing. Yeah. So, see, a lot of times we don't allow ourselves to experience frustration, we don't allow ourselves to experience anger, we don't allow ourselves to feel the blocking or capping emotions, and so what happens? Nothing underneath gets experienced either. And we're saying, I know there's grief there, I know there's grief there, but I just can't get at it. And the reason why I can't get at it is because I'm trying to jump to the grief without experiencing the one that's capping it, the one that's covering it. Uh, can Sarika, instead of creating another week uh, to get to that emotion, can she go in her imaginational memory back to feeling overwhelmed, connect to it that way? Yeah. Save herself a week of... Another week of yeah. grief. But the truth is that she, that she created the feeling of being overwhelmed and then avoided the emotional expression of it. Now you have a reason why you avoided it. So let yourself look at the reasons. Let yourself feel the reason why you avoid it. The reason in this case was you were exhausted. So let yourself feel your exhaustion for a change, right? Rather than trying to tune out of it, going have a bath and watching telly or something like that to tune out of it. Let yourself just really feel exhausted and have a big cry about that. And the next time a series of events happen that cause you to feel overwhelmed, you might be more willing to get into that overwhelmed state or the frustration state or the anger state that's capping.